There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Give her a twirl and reach on in. Look at that, boys. <laughs> look at that. We have a random bucket right here that is loaded with topwater lures. We did a video like this two weeks ago and you guys loved it. So we're back at it again with some topwater because who doesn't like topwater blow ups, baby? So how this is gonna work is we got a bunch of different topwaters in here. I'm going to randomly draw a topwater out of this bucket. I'm gonna tie it on my rod and catch a fish on it. Once I catch a fish on it, I'm gonna redraw another lure. And we're gonna see how many fish we can catch today on different topwater lures. That's the main goal of this video. So if you dig in this bucket, we got a bunch of patrollers right there and a lot of different sizes and colors. We also got some frogs in here. We got some walking baits. We got some poppers by different brands and different colors here. So we have a wide variety of baits that we can get today. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button, it really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into it and draw our first bait, guys. I'm gonna try to angle the bucket out because last video you guys thought I was cherry picking and I promise you, I wasn't cherry picking in the last one. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Here we go, guys. This is gonna be a little difficult too because we have treble hooks everywhere. And the last one is a little easier because it was just soft plastics. But our first bait of the day is going to be this mock spray and shad right here. And this is the spray and shad 70. It's in chrome. And I honestly like this option right here because I'll tell you guys, it's a little sunny today. The clouds are going in and out, but it's mainly sunny. And I love throwing a chrome top water in the sun. When it's cloudy, I like using more of a white and a bone color. But when it is sunny out, man, I'm telling y'all. A chrome top water gets her done. We got her all tied on and we got this paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com will be linked down below. I got some braid on this today. I love throwing my top waters on braid. And uh, I was right when I pulled up to this pond, guys, it almost looks like there's some fish on bed, which is honestly confusing to me because I thought they were going to be done. But I swear I see a few bass right there on bed. Maybe I'm just seeing things, but let's go ahead and start casting and see if we can catch one right off the rip. We've only thrown top water one other day this year and boy, was it a lot of fun. And by the way, after 30 minutes of fishing with the bait, I had the option to continue to fish with it or just pick out another bait. That's just so we don't pause the whole dang video because we're stuck with a bad top water that they're just not eating. But let's keep casting around here and see if we can get a crazy blow up. All right, we're going to walk around this little corner here. We got some rocks down on this bank. And I would hope that there's a big fish sitting on it. Oh, oh, don't do that. Do not do that. I swear, I usually don't backlash, but when I do, it's because I hit the dang grass or a bush. That's some professional work right there now. There's a fish right here, bro. He's like right in front of me. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at him right there. <laughs> I could not tell if I was a gar or bass. There's like a slight glare on the water. That would have been pretty crazy. First fish today on top water is a gar. Another thing is we can move ponds as much as we want today. So we can fish whatever. We can hit 100 ponds today if we want. We can hit 10 ponds. We can hit 3 ponds. It don't matter. We're going to try to move around as much as possible though. I want to just keep covering water and attempt to catch some really big fish today as well i know the goal is to get all these top waters knocked off if possible but i really want to target some big fish so we're going to keep on moving as much as possible today so we're going to give this pond like another i don't know five minutes and then we'll get out of here oh well, there's a boil to the left right there guys Hope these fish are eating top water good today, guys, because if they're not, we in trouble, man. Last time we came out with top water, it was just unreal. Could just be this pond, too. Oh my gosh, I gotta lock in, guys. My casting is not on point right now. All right, we're gonna walk in this corner, throw a few casts, and then we're out of here. What just happened? I scared the crap out of me. Right when that fish jumped off, that there's a fish over there that went crazy too. 
That man had some horsepower, bro. I don't know if that was a bass. I'm gonna tell you if it was, it was huge. All right, guys, we ain't here to waste time today. We're gonna keep on moving. We still have a little bit of time with this popper here. So let's go ahead and pack everything up and get on to the next spot. All right, boys and girls, we are at our second place today. I'm actually gonna grab these pliers and just keep them in my pocket because you never know when you're gonna need them with these treble hooks. Let's start casting around here. We hit this the other day when we were top water fishing and had a lot of success. And we're gonna see if we can get some today. More importantly, get one knocked off on this popper so we can get rolling. <laughs> no dude he barely kissed that thing man well there's our first bite of the day not the type of bite we were expecting Let's see if we can get him to eat it again but a little more aggressive he literally just came up and kind of just ate at it i want to see him blow up out of the water guys we're crossing the 30 minute line with this popper too and it could be the top water they might just not want to pop her today that's what we're gonna do. There's a brush pile out in the middle on the other side of this bridge. We're gonna go over there, throw this thing for a minute. If they don't eat it, we'll just go ahead and draw another bait. Fish aren't one to eat it, guys. We're gonna go ahead and switch up. I did not think on my first bait today I was gonna have to do this, but hey, it's happening. All right. There we go. All right, we got a patroller. This is what I was catching them on a few weeks back. And I'll tell you, this is probably one of my favorite topwaters just because it's so, I don't know, not, not even that's easy to fish. It's just you're continuously reeling it. You can slow it down if you want, but I mean, this thing just catches so many fish, especially in ponds. And we're gonna give this puppy a shot, man. All right, we walked to this far corner. We were at the mouth of it here. And this has always been a good spot to get a bite or two. Should be able to get one back here. There we go. Finally, baby. Finally. Decent fish too, man. Gosh, we've been waiting on that bite. What to eat right over there by that lay down. Come here, baby. Yes, sir. Oh, she came off. She's on the bank. She's on the bank. Come down, come down, come down. There we go, boys. Our first official topwater blow up and our first fish of the day on topwater. First bait knocked off, which was the mock patroller in white. And there we go, guys. We got this party started. Maybe that's all we needed, guys. We just needed a bite. We needed a fish on the bank to get some momentum and keep catching these fish. All right, let's go back to the bucket. And draw us another bait this is a uh, probably one of my favorite top waters of all time and i hate to knock it off so quick or knock it out so quick but it feels good to get a fish on the bank i want to say these fish are slow today man and they're really not wanting top water but then again it could just be the ponds that we're hitting you know we tied this on and within i'd say 15 minutes we were already getting a bite so we're going to go ahead and go back to the bucket and we're actually going to go out to a different pond and then we'll draw the top water when we're out there all right boys and girls new pond new me we are on board with the fish, but we gotta cut this patroller off and go draw on the bucket for another bait. All right. See what we can get here, man. Ooh, that stuck me pretty good. Hold on, hold on. All right, we got, we got the walking bait and bone color. And there is our third top water. This is actually gonna be our technically our second one because we didn't catch a fish on the other one, but. We got the Bone Strike King Sexy Dog, baby. I'm ready to get fired up, boys. Listen, it took us a while to get that first fish, but I think we're about to have some momentum here. There is a lot of grass in this pond, so the goal is to throw out as far as you can and mainly fish this bait, any of these treble hook baits in the middle here. And if we end up drawing a frog or something, that's something we could throw inside of this grass. I don't know if we'll get a ton of bites, because we don't need a ton of bites, we just need one bite. I feel like a fish could be a little bigger that eats this thing. Like that. It is a monster. It's a monster, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay pinned, baby. 
This is a big fish, guys. It's a big, oh my gosh, come on. Come on. Oh no. No, 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 no. All right, we got her through the grass. Oh, let's go, baby. That's a good three pounder, easy. Oh, maybe a four. Let's go. Oh, dude, that's every bit of a four pounder. She got a whole bucket of salad with her. Makes her weigh about 10 pounds of that. Oh my goodness, we were speaking it into existence and we got freaking slammed by a biggin, man. Dude, she absolutely hammered that thing. Hopefully that's a good sign for this pond. Dude, let's freaking go, guys. Good three pounder, man. Oh my gosh, just beautiful. And she did not hesitate and just destroyed that walking bait right there. She loved the sexy dog. Thank you, baby. She's gonna have to travel through the grass. What's she doing? Oh no, maybe I should have, she can get through the grass, right? Maybe I should have threw her over the grass. Now she's just cruising the bank. Maybe I can grab her. <laughs> I should have thrown you back. I didn't want to like toss her. Yeah, there she goes. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, listen, it has been a struggle off the rip, guys. We caught our first fish. It gave us the momentum we needed. Came out to a new spot with a walking bait. It got freaking plopped, man. Let's go ahead and go over to the bucket and see what we get next. All right, guys, this two baits knocked off the list. I just could not believe I was speaking it into existence and actually had a really good fish hit this thing. Something about a walking bait, I just believe it takes a bigger, like more aggressive fish to eat it. And that just proved our point right in front of our face, man. But let's go ahead and get back in the bucket. See what we get next, man. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? A strike king popper. Okay, so we were throwing the mock popper before. We didn't have any bites on it. We were struggling with it. Could have been the color, could have been the pond. And uh, I will say we just got bit on the bone walking bait. Now we have a bone popper. And we're gonna see if that color might just be the trick right now. We have the clouds out right now, guys. And I'm telling you, when the clouds are out, this bone color, there's not a better one. And I'll tell you guys, it's exciting switching up baits every single time, but I would love to continue throwing that sexy dog because <laughs> that happened so fast, man. But here we go. We're going for our third bait for our third fish. And I think they're going to end up smoking this thing, guys. I really like the grass in this pond. And I think they're just hiding out in it. And they see a topwater go above their head. They're really aggressive on this thing. So one thing we need to do with this popper is honestly fish it pretty slow. I think the other popper we were fishing way too fast. I was just getting impatient. I really wanted to bite and it just kind of hurt us there. I think we could have caught a fish if I was more patient working it slow like I needed to be. I kind of want to throw this over where I got that bite. We can get another big one, man. Right there. Oh, that looks so good. I wish you guys could have saw that blow up up close and personal, like 10 foot from us, because it was, dude, he dove out of the water like a shark. He was not playing around. Yes. 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 I was working it slow, dude. She is not big at all. I'm just going to coast her in so I don't get her in the grass. Let's go, man. God dang airplane going above our head. Okay, that is not the size that we want, but guess what? That is not the purpose of this video. It's, it'd be nice to catch some more big ones. But that is three baits knocked off the list. Three fish on three different baits, and we're going back to the box already, man. These fish are eating in here good. Thank you, baby. All right, boys, so we have had more bites in this pond in five minutes than we've had the whole day, and I'm hoping they're just gonna continue to eat. To give you guys a little rundown, patrollers knocked off in white, sexy dog knocked off in bone, and an airplane scorching above my head and then we have the striking popper and bone knocked off all these colors were the whitish bone colors which is good in these cloudy days i do not know what's going on guys i think we're uh we're about to have to go to war might have to put our fishing pole down but yeah those are the three baits that we've knocked off now it is time for bait number four well, let's see what we get into man let's see what we what do we got okay okay we are just we are just literally getting all the white colors I wish we didn't because I kind of want to, I don't know, go back and forth with some different colors, but we got the patroller again 
But if you guys look at this, it's the same color as the first patroller, but it's about double the size, which honestly I really like for this pond since we get that really good fish off the rip on that bigger walking bait. So mock patroller again, just in the upsize. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's gonna take a big fish to eat this thing. And I'm confident with how they're biting in this pond. Maybe we can avoid the small ones with this bait, which I'll honestly like. Oh yeah, dude. Ooh, all right. So this bait is a little heavy. And as you guys can tell up on us here, we have all this grass. On that bank, it's very similar. We just had a boil right where we landed too. Oh man. Yeah, so when this bait hits the water, it is like a heftier splash and it kind of gets in the grass. There's a blow up right there, a little boil. Now that I'm thinking about it, guys, I honestly really want a frog. Hopefully the next bait we pull is a frog. We got like three or four in there, so we should be able to, we're narrowing down the baits a good bit. With all this grass, I feel like we can get smoked on a frog in here. But first, we got to catch a big one on this patroller. Fish are being little chickens. This is an intimidating bait. Oh. oh, now I'm in grass. Oh, but you're still trying to eat it. That grass is really making me mad, guys. I'm getting bites when I hit the freaking grass. Yeah, we need a frog, guys. We really, I'm really aiming for the frog next time. We have to get a frog. I would love nothing more than to catch our first frog fish of the year. Yeah, my bait is just, it's landing straight in grass over here. I made the decision of just cutting off this bait after the 30 minutes. I think we can catch a fish on it. It's just, I don't know. I, I want to go for something different in here. So looking into the box, let's see what we got. We have three different frogs. We have two different patrollers and we have four different pops. Hopefully we get a frog, dude, hopefully. And it's not a frog. Okay guys, well, <laughs> we got us another spraying shad and this one's actually in like a bluegill pattern. The first spray and shad we used, I wanna say it was chrome and we didn't have any luck with it, but maybe in this pond, the luck will shift and we'll be able to catch one on this. It seems like the, the white and bone colored topwaters today have been performing the best, but who knows, maybe this natural color will get the job done. It's honestly a really cool pattern too. Let's see if our luck continues. Come on. Just need to make sure we work this thing slow, guys. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Slow and steady and we'll get some bites. I really wish we drew a frog, guys. <laughs> and I'm just dying to throw a frog in this grass. Maybe the next time we'll get lucky enough. Let's see if we can bang this bait out real quick. And get a crazy blow up for us. Oh yeah. Dude, that's it. I got a tingling sensation around me right now on that cast, man. This thing's spraying water, so... Oh! Oh, I missed him. I missed him, dude. I missed him. Come on, come back for it. Dude, I waited too long to hook set. I thought he didn't get it. I really thought he didn't get it. He dove over it like a shark. That was all my fault, man. Nothing more than me just messing up. I didn't get too excited. I waited too long. I was feeling that cast, too, man. Right here. Come on, there's got to be another one over there. We've just had some bad luck with the spraying shad today for some reason. I think we get smoked. I mean, we're getting smoked. That was all me, but it's bad luck. Right there. Yes. 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 Not a big one. I, don't, I think it's... Oh, it's not a bad one. Hold on. Let me get him above this grass. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. She's just a pound. She's just a little pounder. Thank you for biting. Compared to that other fish, the other fish is at least twice the size, but we'll take her. 
because we get to knock off the spray and chat in hopes that we can pull a frog this next go around thank you baby they're eating the popper pretty good in here guys heck yeah all right well the first spray and chat didn't go go to plan but this one got popped pretty quick and this pond is just on fire right now guys they are eating top water those first couple that we hit during the day they weren't really wanting the top water but this pond they're eating everything and hopefully they'll eat a frog if we draw that please draw a frog i think we're all rooting for the frog right now we want to see it i want my first frog fish and we got to make it happen come on baby please i, I got i got hold on hold on boys i got something uh-oh uh-oh we got us a frog so pretty much when i stick my hand in that bucket is whatever i touch first and i felt the silicone and i just went went in i went in for it man that one piece of silicone and this is actually the new mock frog we haven't got to fish with them yet and this is going to be our first look our first impression over the new mock frog this is a standard frog too this isn't the popping which honestly i like better because you know we got a lot of grass even though the popping i think is just overall my favorite um, I think the standard frog will go through the grass a lot better. And one thing that we want to do here is the skirt's pretty long. I like cutting it. So what I do is I take about, I'd say an inch, if that off, and I cut the silicone just like that. And as you guys can tell, this frog, oh, we cut it perfect. This frog legs are just perfect size now. Not too long, not, nothing too crazy, but that's what you want. All right, boys and girls, we are at a new spot. We got our frog on, our mock frog, baby. And this spot has a good bit of grass in this corner and it's looking spicy we had to hide out so we had a storm roll in now the weather's nice and we are good to continue this thing so when i go frog fishing i prefer more of a popping frog and when i throw a standard frog like this you know if you're throwing in a lot of grass this is your better option but i tend to walk this bait like back and forth like i walk the dog with it dude i like this right oh horrible cast but is there one behind it dude there's one right under it he's about to eat it dude just eat it just eat it just eat it oh my gosh he was right behind it dude Let's see if he eats it in the grass here dang man he followed it all the way in i thought i saw a shadow below let's see if we'll eat it this time don't be don't be doing that Oh my gosh, dude, that was a whole nother fish. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it looked like he had it and I had no hookup at all. There's another one swimming here. All right, we're gonna throw it right back in there, guys. He came right out of that grass and just attacked this thing. That was a good bite. Oh my gosh, he's right there, come on. Oh, he's right under it. Dude. What is going on? Oh my gosh, he ate it so good. That was such an aggressive bite, man. I don't know if we're gonna get him to bite again now. I mean, he bit it twice. Oh, he's right here in front of us. He swam all the way up here. Dang it, dude. All right, guys, we don't have much more time with this frog, so we're just gonna go ahead and move and go to a new spot. All right, it is time. Get us a bass on this frog. And this water looks so clear right now. These ponds have really cleared up over the last week or so. It's kind of, look at that. First cast, dude. Oh my gosh. Well, there's our first frog bass of the year. <laughs> right there, dude. I had a gut feeling to move spots. Literally first cast in. Smoke the mock frog, man. Not a big one. But there we go, guys. That was our first frog bass of the year. First hollow body frog bass. That is unreal. This pond might be on fire for top water, guys. Pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. Let's go, man. All right, well, there's not that many baits left in the bucket. Let's go ahead and give her a twirl and reach on in. Oh, baby, look at this. Look at this right here. We got us a sexy shad popper by strike king and this baby right here should get munched man i do not think we're gonna have an issue with this guy i know the first popper of the day we had a hard time with but i just feel this color right now the sun's out you get a little bit of chrome on the bottom got the chartreuse stripe little feather tail this puppy should get popped man 
All right, we're gonna take this bad boy in this corner, dude. I've seen a lot of movement. I don't know if you guys see that. I think we're gonna get slammed really quick. Look at that big boil. Dude, and I just can't believe how clear this water is. So many turtles. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this turtle, dude. He's just like playing around. What? I, I can't tell if he's like aggressive with me or if he's just messing around. Right here in this corner. Should be done. Yep. Look at that, man. We are on a roll. Not a big one. Not a big one. But that's a fish, man. Holy cow, we're moving. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I kind of want to throw this thing back in there. I kind of want to throw it one more cast. That's a small one, man. I feel like we can get a big one on this thing. Pretty guy. Thank you, buddy. There's like a brush pile out here in the middle. I just want to try it for a second, guys. This bait's just too good to only catch a tiny one like that on, man. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta throw a couple casts with it. I'm just glad to see they're eating top water in here. That's two bites really quick. We just need to switch up. That's not a part of the video to keep fishing with the same one, but that is six fish on six different top waters. Let's see if we can make it seven with this next bait we draw. Options are running thin, man. We only got six bait left. Only six baits left. Let's see what, what do we got? Oh, man. We got us another patroller. And I'll tell you guys, with this sun out right now, this bait right here is prime time, baby. You know, I was talking about it earlier in the video. When it's cloudy, I like to throw that white and bone color. When that sun's out, man, I'm telling you, that chrome color just kills it. That should be money right there, guys. We we should not have a problem catching one on this patroller. Here we go, bait number seven, man. Let's see if we can get it done. I'm gonna take it back to this corner. Come on. I just wanna see a big one, man. You guys know the last time we came out here, we missed a really big fish and we came back a couple hours later and ended up catching her. There's big ones in here. Just hoping that they're eating. All right, we're going to go on down over here by this tree. I feel like we've had so much luck by this one. We haven't got to try throwing on it yet, so let's see if we can call one out. Dude, I just want to see a ridiculous blow up right here. Come on. Come on. Right there. This fish love this tree. There we go. Little tiny guy, dude. Oh my gosh, we are just getting unlucky with these small ones right now. I mean, with the top water bite, guys, we cannot complain, but I just really want to see a big one. I was not expecting to catch one of our smallest fish of the day on the patroller, but hey, man, it was a cool bite either way. And that is bait number seven, dude. Knocked off the list. We are cruising now. All right, boys and girls, we are at yet another pond. So to give a little breakdown, we've been on a roll. That last pond, we got the striking popper done. We got the frog done, first frog bass of the year. And then we got the chrome patroller done. So moving on over to here, our options are very slim, man. They're getting slimmer and slimmer. We have a white popper. We have a sexy dog walking bait. We have another patroller in an interesting color. And we got two popping frogs. Let's go ahead and give it a swirl. Let's see what we get. Okay. I feel like I know exactly what this bad boy is. Oh, yeah. We got another walking bait, guys. And if you guys know, earlier in this video, we ended up catching the biggest fish of today so far on a walking bait. And I honestly really like this color for this water. This water isn't stained. It's actually cleared up a good bit, but it's not clear by any means. And having that yellow stripe on there, the chartreuse stripe, might just be perfect for this water. We're gonna see if the sexy dog is holding true to the big bites today. I was so pumped throwing that bone color one, man. We were talking about catching a big fish on it and then all of a sudden we ended up hooking a really good one. And we're gonna see if we can repeat it twice in one video. And I'll tell you guys, 
if this sexy dog ends up catching the two biggest fish of the video it would not surprise me at all it really wouldn't well, let's get the cast in and see if we can get bait number eight knocked off the list there's also a little bit of grass in here guys but it's not enough in my opinion to affect us too bad with these treble hooks nothing like that uh like third pond that we hit there was so much grass in there gosh dude i just want to see another big one just literally dive like a shark over this bait i'm still having flashbacks from that other sexy dog man dude this looks like a big bass on bed right there no way they're still on bed right what's that that is not a fish <laughs> That is a tree. Totally looked like it. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a good one. No. No, 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 no. I'm going to be honest, guys. I had my drag set really tight for that dang frog, and I forgot to change it back. I also just had a weird late reaction on that fish i should have just leaned right into him when he hit oh my gosh that was a good one man that one was over three pounds he dove right over that thing too that was gonna be another big fish on this dang sexy dog bro somehow she just came off man she got aggressive on that thing too it wasn't dang three or four pops she was already on top of that puppy that doesn't mean we can't get another bite guys let's just keep on fishing be patient See if we can call up another big one gosh that sucks dude turtle get away there's no point in <laughs> he's so fast when did turtles get fast dude are they just fast in water i feel like turtles are just such a slow dang creature then probably start speeding up behind this thing man i got another one no way I'm like trying not to work my bait too fast but with those turtles behind it man you gotta you gotta steamroll this thing. Maybe this shallow end over here. I have a big one. It's a little corner. Come on. I am dying to see another crazy blow up, guys. That just sucks that that dang fish happened to come off. It's kind of got in my head a little bit. That one was close to four pounds. That's another big one. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. I might have her hooked in the side, dude. Yeah, I definitely have this fish hooked in the side. She's not coming up at all. Hold on. This is a pretty big one, guys. What do we got, man? Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Not a giant, but that's a nice one. Oh, look at that. Good two and a half pounder right there. Mm. Not like that one that blew up on us in the middle, but this fish is fat and healthy, man. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's three bites on the sexy dog in here. I thought I had her hooked weird, dude. She was just not moving. Guys, that is bait number eight, and that is, a, I wanna say that's the second biggest today. Just super healthy fish. I mean, she's only a two number, but look how thick and fat she is. She smoked that dang sexy dog, man. Let's go, thank you, baby. Sexy dog is producing them big bites, man.